everyone, my name is Samantha Hammond and I'm a destination wedding and honeymoon specialist. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about destination wedding favor ideas. So favors are not required obviously, but it is a nice idea to have something for your guests, especially if they're traveling thousands of miles to a different country to attend your wedding. It is a nice idea just to have a little something for them. So here are some ideas that I did for my destination wedding and I know some of our clients have done in the past and hopefully this will be helpful to you if you're planning a destination wedding. So off the bat, what I think is a great idea is having some sort of like gift bag or gift basket for your guests when they arrive. So when they arrive and they're checking in, you can either have it arranged with the uh, front desk lobby to you know hand all of your guests their gift bags, or you could do it at the welcome dinner. If you're having like a cocktail hour, you can hand it out to your guests. So what are some things to put in your gift bag or gift baskets. I'm going to, I think bags would be better than baskets, right? So some of the things that I think is a great idea is first off, I always think it's a good idea to give people gifts that are useful, right? So if you're doing a, a destination wedding in a tropical climate, there are things that your guests may need that they probably didn't bring themselves. So like sunscreen, um, sun tanning lotion, sunglasses. And I know everyone's like sunglasses, but you can have like sunglasses with like, you know, your names on it or your wedding dates. And I think those are really cute. Something else that you can add to the gift bags are like local uh, liquor. So if you're getting married in Mexico, having like small bottles of tequila, Granted, you're at an all-inclusive, but again, I think it's a cute idea just to have like something local in these bags. So like a small bottle of rum or tequila, you can have like local treats, you can have like small bottles of champagne. Again, these can all be like, you know, these can all have like your name or your like wedding date on it. Something that, um, I did at my wedding that I thought was kind of cute. Uh, we had uh, picture frames. So we had like little pic picture frames. I think it had our, it's been almost five years, but I think it's, it had like our wedding date on it. And then, you know, when we were doing a, uh, the photo shoot with everyone, we did like a huge photo with every single guest there. And after the wedding, we actually sent them like mini versions of that picture so that they can put it in a frame that we gave them in the gift bag. So that's also, you know, a cute and inexpensive because it wasn't that expensive at all for those small frames. Um, that's a cute thing to have also in the gift bag. Something else, this is really important, something people don't think about, flip-flops. So if you're doing a destination wedding on a beach, right? More than likely, people are going to have, you know, shoes. Women always have heels on for some reason, even though it's at, a, at the beach. So something that you can do, which I think is so cute, is either having, you know, flip-flops in their actual gift bag, or even you can do it at the wedding site. So you could actually have your wedding planner, like put like a basket down with a whole bunch of flip-flops. The thing with that is, it's not really personalized. So you can kind of, you know, beforehand get your guests shoe size, or you could just pick generic one, like get everybody a size 10. And you can actually have those in the gift bags. Another cute idea that you can have in the bag or actually just leave it in their rooms are like Turkish beach uh, towels. So Turkish beach towels are thicker. Um, with these, you can actually have them like, um, again, embroidered with your name, with when you're getting married, you're married, um, your wedding date. And these are cute things that you can also leave in um, their rooms. A towel might be a little bit too big to actually put in a gift bag, depending on how bag, big the bag is. So again, you could still do both, have them have a gift bag, and then when they go into their room, they have a beach towel. So again, those are some things to, to think about. Those are some just very simple, um, inex 
I don't think it's that expensive. I, I guess depending on how many you get, but inexpensive ideas for wedding favors. So we have the gift bags, we have the liquor, you know, the emergency hangover kit. That should definitely, definitely be in the gift bag because everybody, I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people have a hangover at the wedding night or just if you're at an all-inclusive, people are drinking all day. So that's always a good idea to have. Sunscreen, lotions, all of those things. I think that your guests would be very appreciative of having those things. So hopefully you found these tips helpful and I gave you some ideas for your own destination wedding favors. If you need any help with planning a destination wedding or a honeymoon, please feel free to contact me and my team. And that's it for now, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.